Would you advise people to go the same route as you? Is there something you change? So here's the thing about life is that there's no, once you realize there are kind of no rules as long as you're not like breaking the law or getting the getting your stars in GTA, there, there isn't like no real path, right? You can kind of go about life however you want. You know guys? Your parents aren't always gonna know what's best for you. There's gonna be times where you're gonna find opportunities that they're not gonna understand because they're too old or out of touch. So it's important to listen to your parents and to understand the concern that they have for you and their wisdom. But if a good opportunity is, is comes along and you're able to research it and you believe that it fits in with your life, it might be a little scary at the time, but it might just be worth it. Because you can get the grades and the, the money or whatever it is that other people will think that you're a successful, but if you don't think you're a success and you're not a success, then it was it was pointless all this time. So either you need to go have an awkward conversation with your parents soon, or you'll still have one 20 years from now when you feel like you've wasted your life. That was pretty, that was pretty scary to think about. I uh, appreciate it, bro. This core desire to feel like we're, we're living right in our lives. The reason why is because all the desires get placed on top of you. You are born with this core desire and then your parents look at you and say, oh, I really hope you get good grades in school. Really hope you get a high status job that makes me feel good because I worked a shitty job and so my son, you will work a high status job so I can live vicariously through you. Here is a desire to put over your core desire then your teachers has more desires, then the news, then the TV shows has more desires, has more desires. Put that over your, your one that you were meant to fulfill. By the time you're 10 years old, you've got hundreds of desires, these concentric circles. Yours is right in the middle, right there at the core. But there's hundreds that have been placed on top of you. Gotta act like this, gotta be friends with this guy. Need that shirt, need that like earphone thing that everyone else has got, high status. Parents want you to act like this, need the grades. Oh, the movie. This core desire to feel like we're, we're living. I remember one of the proudest moments, I think, was a couple years after I I graduated and I was doing YouTube and I was working full time as a manager at a restaurant and I was making two videos every day and my dad told me that he's never met somebody that works as hard as I do and like that that like that made me just like explode um, what does that mean just like hearing that hearing that one at all after I just kind of felt like I was a fuck up for a really long time because I wasn't traditionally doing well because I got shitty grades and I didn't participate in school and hearing somebody be like seeing somebody recognize how hard I worked um, and especially that being my dad. So the problem with the millennial generation is that we were sold a formula for success that did not work. So when I was growing up, they all said, go to college, get a degree, go to graduate school, you'll be special. And then with this thing behind you, don't worry about student debt, by the way, with all this stuff behind you, you're going to be successful. But what had happened is everyone had sort of figured out, at least in the US, that everyone's going to college and everyone's taken out loans and 18 year olds don't understand the value of a dollar. So we're just going to keep on jacking up loans and education prices and loans and education prices. And they even pass legislation in the United States that you cannot declare bankruptcy and get rid of your student loans. Corporate malfeasance, you ran your bank into the ground, you can declare bankruptcy. Commercial real estate, you can wipe that debt clean, baby. Let's go. You can wipe all the debt clean you want except for student loans. That's the one thing we're going to saddle you with no matter what. And so this generation, my generation, got screwed. I'm one of the lucky ones, right? Because my parents had enough resources to get me through things. And then the next generation, y'all were like, hey, the generation above us is like SOL. We mentally checked out. And now there's this existential nihilism. We even have a word for it. 
There's a class of people who embrace it. Doomers. These people are so common that we gave them a word. They're the doomers. Because here's what happened is that like all the stuff that was supposed to work doesn't work. And so now each and every person out there is struggling to figure out how do I navigate the world? And by the way, it's scary because like there are parts of it that are falling apart. Most men live lives of quiet desperation. It's one of my favorite quotes ever because it's true. You're just in this world where you just can't wait to just run away. The way you can change is you have to put aside enough money to give yourself a window. And you have to spend all your waking hours outside of whatever shit job you do planning your escape. And you have to come to the realization very clearly that you fucked up and you got yourself stuck. So whatever you're doing, you have to do it like your life depends on it. Whatever time that you have, you have to attack like you're trying to save the world. You're trying to save your life. You don't want to drown. That one and a half hours a day that you have better be caffeinated and motivated. You got to go. You got to get after it. And you got to have discipline. The opportunity takes place usually when you're young and you don't have any responsibility. That's when you have your options. You have to take a path that's dangerous. And most people want to take the safe path. And the safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation almost every time. It's hell. 